the fuck up? <laughs> Oh, uh, what's up guys? Like Motor here. Uh, I guess you weren't uh, I'm pretty sure you weren't fucking ready for that intro. Uh but anyways, I have a old gameplay on uh trenches here from the Gears of War 3 beta. I promise you guys I did not post this game already. I have a tendency to post games that I've already uploaded and uh you guys get mad at me like Bonner, you already posted this and you got all you get all mad at me. I'm like, I'm sorry. I got so many new plays. So I made sure I actually went through for you guys, video by video, to make sure I didn't post this already. So that's good. Um, I got a really funny treat for you guys during this commentary. I, if I remember, I hope it was a funny moment. But anyways, um, we are in the four day range. Is that right? Four days. Oh my god, we just got triple double barreled. What the fuck? Montage. But anyways, we're in the four day range, and I'm doing this commentary around 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, today is Friday, and um, I'm going to begin Gears 3 Monday night. Um, I'm going to kind of describe some of my frustrations a little bit. Um, some of the people in my team have had Gears 3 for almost two weeks now, and uh, it's not so much about them. But I'm getting a lot of messages from people saying they're on the game, and I really think it was un it's kind of unfair, you know? Uh, you know, of course, the people in my team had hookups, because uh, our MLG team is almost directly connected with Epic, because they're trying to work with them about how to get the MLG or gears on the circuit, working with them on weapon spawn, stuff like that, so they have direct connections. But I'm getting people that I know that don't have any connections that are getting the game early. And uh, I'm actually kind of upset about this because I think it's really unfair that we have to wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's like, I, I thought I was going to get it early, but then I thought about it and I was like, I don't really want to get it early. You know, it's kind of unfair to everyone, to be honest. Uh, that guy was just shooting the double barrel across the map like a sniper. But anyways, um, it's a little unfair and I just didn't want to risk getting in trouble maybe. I don't know. Um, because I definitely could have got the game like a week ago, I'm not going to lie, and I just uh, turned the person down, and here I am waiting for it with you guys, but um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to get it Monday night at midnight release, and uh, I'm going to probably meet some people there at midnight release as well. Um, I don't know if, you guys, if any of you guys live in the Pittsfield, Massachusetts area. But uh, I'm going to be getting my copy at GameStop at um, midnight launch uh, at the GameStop in the Berkshire Mall. So if you want to meet me, uh, there's a great opportunity for that there. Um, you guys would actually be surprised. Like there's some people, like this is going to sound pretty creepy, but there's like people in my classes uh, at college who know, like knew my name and knew what I did, which is kind of crazy. Um, so like I said, if any of you guys want to come meet me, I'll be there. Um, trust me, I don't bite. I'm a really friendly person. And, uh, like I've had people come up to me at LAN events several times and, uh, be like, oh, I love your videos, blah, blah, blah. And I've, I've been nice to everyone. I've never, ever been mean to somebody in person unless, you know, obviously they're, they either started talking shit or came at me the wrong way, you know? Um, but anyways, yeah, so we're in the home stretch now, only a couple days. And you guys know how fast weekends fly by, so you guys don't have to worry about waiting too much. So, I would just go out, enjoy your weekend. Uh, of course, get some gears one, maybe some gears two in uh, to get yourself prepared. And I am going to have a shit fuckload. That's a new word I made. Shit fuckload. <laughs> All right, in the comment section below, if you can put whose laugh that sounded like, I will send you a cookie through email. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, get some games in, and uh, I've got a lot of content for you guys coming up. Uh, for those of you guys who do follow um, my Chaos team, my team Team Chaos or Chaotic Gaming, we just had a toolbar made. I'll throw that in the description. Uh, some of you guys may have missed the video. It's actually extremely cool. Like, um, it, it's not just like promoting us, and we don't make any profit off it. A lot of people were asking me, uh, "Oh, you're just doing it for money?" And what I I use the website where it's like non-profitable. Well, it is profitable, but we don't make profit on it. Um, but I we already have like 250 downloads, and that's awesome. I want to thank you guys for that. And uh, it's actually extremely like convenient. I use it for myself. Um, you can go right to our chaos page just by one click of the button and uh, also another neat thing is it's not only 
for us. We like we j there's just one button for us, and then the whole rest of the tab is things you can customize. Um, you can put the weather. You can put in where you live, and it'll tell you where the weather is. You can put a radio oh up God. there. I actually suggest to uncheck those things when you download it because I don't really like them that much. But um, you could do a bunch of crazy things. You can link your Twitter, link your Facebook, uh, you know, link your um. You're uh, no, not MySpace. No one uses fucking MySpace anymore. But, uh, like Skype. Pretty much anything that you would want to use. Um, so, and also your YouTube. So it kind of comes off as a little tab up top, and it's really cool, really convenient. It's got a nice search engine in it, and, uh, if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and, you know, if you don't like it, you can always delete it, so it's no big deal. Um, but anyways, uh, my team, we are doing a great job. I want a big shout out to Chaos. I'm so proud of them. Like, the reason I made this team was because I feel like the Gears of War community was so small. It was so dead. And, uh, you know, teams never really had, or, well, Gears of War never really had a team like a FaZe or an Optic or a Dare or any of those big teams that are out there for Call of Duty and other games. So I decided to make the team and we're actually becoming really successful and uh, I could honestly say that pretty much everyone in the team is like my brother, like we're, we're close like family and it's awesome. And uh, that is the main like reason a team will be successful is if you guys all get along and I don't think, I think I've gotten into a, not really fights, but a few arguments with some people, but other than that, it's been really, really clean. And uh, I absolutely love it, and I can't wait to make some videos with them for Gears 3. We're going to be doing things such as we're going to have a top 5. We're going to have a not top 5, which is basically top 5 fails. Um, we're going to have things such as, you know, montages, clantages, all that good stuff. Skits, funny skits as well. We have Advocate in our team, and that kid's just funny as fuck. So um, if you haven't subscribed to that channel, the link will be in the description as well. But uh, here comes the funny part I was going to talk to you guys about. So basically, I was playing with my friend Mike the Man Zuma. And uh, he's just one of, he's a good friend of mine. I don't know if he makes videos or not, but he's just, I've, he's always played with me. And he's been pretty cool. Um, and for those of you guys who got the game, Gears 3, when it came out, they took away Trenches and Old Town. So they didn't release Trenches and Old Town. So I'm going to let you guys listen in here because he didn't understand what this whole sandstorm was about. So listen in. Oh, I'm trying, I'm moving. Dude, dude, bro. I'm running, dude. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, I want you guys to go back and look at that. Basically, what happened was, uh, it makes like the elephant horn noise, and the whole time I was like, Mike, turn around! The elephant's getting you. Hurry up. It's like the avalanche in, uh, in Gears 2. Run, run. And I'm holding the left bumper, and you can see him, like, jumping over cover and rolling and just straight up booking it. And I thought that shit was hilarious. And uh, let's see what he has to say for himself. That better not be on YouTube Ah, uh, you bet it is. That <laughs> better not be on YouTube. I'll make sure I play that volume loud and clear. But uh, I also put subtitles in so you guys can read the conversation that went on. And probably a hat you had to be there moment, but it was really funny. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Is, uh, whenever I'm kind of skeptical about um, showing you guys something that I think might not be funny for you guys, because you guys are a tough crowd sometimes, it uh, seems like it always comes out for the best. So um, to be honest, like I absolutely love my fans. Like I had to build my channel all the way back up from scratch, and I can honestly tell you that uh, I really do like my fans a lot more now than I did back in 08 when I had, you know, for every 400 people that loved my videos, there's 100 people who trolled me, you know? And it's not that they trolled me because they didn't think I was good, they just didn't like me personally. And a lot of them really didn't get to know me. Um, I had some kid try IP flooding me the other day because I didn't reply to his message right away on Xbox. And uh, I get trolls all the time. I had another kid who, you know, uh, he talked shit to me, said I, that he hoped um, my account got hacked again. And then I blocked him and then he got on another account after sending me about 10 messages on Xbox. So I blocked him on YouTube and Xbox. Sends me a message later that night. It's like, uh, it was like some M2KA4. I don't even know who he is, but uh, 
Then he decided to send me a message being like, please unblock me. I really like your content. I'm really sorry. I feel, ba I feel bad for what I said. And I was like, nah, like I had worked my ass off to get back to where I am and I deserve it. And to say something like that's really fucked up. So I was like, pretty much like, fuck off. And uh, he sent me another message. He's like, oh, hope you get your account hacked and stuff. It just shows like he... I'm like, oh, so you just you just said you're not gonna troll anymore, but because I denied you, you whined like a little bitch. So it's just like a bunch of people like that. But I can tell you guys this right now, the community today is so much better than it was when I first came back. And you guys should be extremely proud of yourselves. Um, if you're one of the people who never talked shit, I respect you even more. But um, if you were like one of those kids who were trolls and then be began to grow up, I want to uh, let you know that I really respect that and I'm very proud of you guys. And I know that sounds a little corny and stuff, but um, it's just, it really shows a lot of character for the Gears community and it shows that we can get back that Gears 1 huge community that we've been missing for all of Gears 2 when it got updated. So I finished with a nice little triple feed there at the end. Uh, I think I had I went 20 and 6 maybe. And uh, like I said, I'm 100% sure this hasn't been uploaded already. But um, Gears of War 3 in a couple days, guys. I'm extremely excited. So make sure to stay tuned to my channel. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope everyone's having a good weekend or have a good weekend. Take it easy, guys.